Hey there, world travelers. Hey there. I'm Tanya. And I'm Dave. And we are Turn It Up World. And today we're going to be talking about the Las Vegas Strip Reopen, the top 15 best cheap eats open on the Las Vegas Strip right now. So since the Las Vegas reopened, Dave and I have spent quite a bit of time out there. And if you've been following along with us, you do know that we love to enjoy some of the lovely foods on the Las Vegas Strip, in particular, some of the cheap eats. So we figured this is a great opportunity to put together the top 15 cheap eats that we enjoy, that we think you guys might enjoy as well, that are open right now on the Las Vegas Strip. Absolutely. Let's kick this off with number 15, In-N-Out Burger. Now we love In-N-Out Burger and it's definitely one of our top go-to cheap eats on the Las Vegas Strip, especially late night. It really is. I mean, when we're walking up and down the Strip and then we end up at the Link Promenade, there is a fantastic In-N-Out Burger right there. It's just amazing. We love the Double Doubles. Oh my gosh, it reminds me of a fancier Big Mac with the french fries and oh, the shakes are fantastic. <laughs> Number 14, Egg Slut at the Cosmopolitan. Dave and I really enjoy the breakfast sandwiches there. I'm gonna have to say, we probably think they're some of the best breakfast sandwiches we've ever had. No, absolutely. They're so good. A couple things you wanna note is one, you probably should get there early. I think it opens up at 7 a.m. Monday through Sunday, but if you get there anytime around nine o'clock or a little after 8.30, let me tell you, you're gonna be waiting in the long line because the breakfast sandwiches are that good. And they're about $9, I know, which just doesn't sound super cheap for a breakfast sandwich, but relative to a lot of things on the Strip, it definitely is one of the tastier cheap eats on the Las Vegas Strip. Next up, number 13, and new for 2020, Chef David Chang's Moon Palace at the Palazzo. Now, Moon Palace is really like a gourmet burger spot, a takeout spot, where a very simple menu, you have basically a single tasty or a double decker tasty, either beef or non-beef, and all these burgers are for under $10. A great spot, definitely worth checking out. Uh, and actually, some people say they're like gourmet White, White Castle. Castle. So if you love White Castle, definitely, definitely check out Moon Palace. Moving right along to one of our favorites, number 12, Peppermill and Fireside Lounge. Now, Peppermill and Fireside Lounge is definitely a classic staple. Now, it used to be 24 hours, but due to current circumstances, they have rolled that back and now are closing at about 11 p.m. But I will tell you this, it is definitely something to be visited for sure with the classic old school theme in there. The menu hasn't changed. The food is very tasty, but it's not super cheap. Right, it's not super cheap, but the portions are really large. So the great, there's still a great value. Absolutely, and definitely a place you need to visit when you visit Las Vegas on the Las Vegas Strip. So now let's head over to Harrow's for number 11 and also new for 2020, Buddy B's Pizza Cake. Now, Buddy Valestro was the winner of Cake Boss and so he had an idea with this restaurant. A lot of people love pizza and a lot of people love cake. So a baby was born called Pizza Cake and we actually had quite a tasty slice of pepperoni. I thought they were wonderful. The one with the pepperoni cups really kind of brought home that like sharp flavor with doughy vibe and I think what set it off for me was the fact that they had one slice, my favorite in particular, with a blue cheese drizzle. Mm, mm, mm. Really delicious. Certainly a cheap eat you can check out. They're open pretty late. So if you're having fun in the casinos and doing your thing, stop at Pizza Cake for a heavenly slice of pizza and some dessert all in one spot. So let's mosey on over to the Grand Bazaar Shops and Bally's for a real tasty treat. Number 10, Ramen Ya. And ramen ya is definitely one of the best cheap eats on the Las Vegas Strip. And we love their spicy miso ramen we can get for under $10. It's really amazing. As a matter of fact, there are a lot of really cool shops you can check out after that delicious big bowl of ramen to burn it all off. And if you want a great outdoor seating spot with amazing views of the Bellagio Fountains, head over to number nine, Beer Park at Paris. Absolutely, now we really enjoyed the Beer Park. It does have fantastic views of the Bellagio Fountain Show. A couple things I would suggest is definitely make a reservation early so that you can almost guarantee a great seat of that Fountain Show. Prices are reasonably cheap. Now, in comparison to some of the things on the Strip, definitely a great value for what you're getting. We ordered the fish and chips, absolutely delicious. They have a lot of choice craft beers, fantastic service, and just an all around great spot to have a wonderful dinner, cheap, with your honey bunny. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you want lunch for a great price, head on over to number eight, Ocean One Bar and Grill at the Miracle Mile Shops. That's right. 
Ocean One Bar and Grill has lunch specials every day, every item on the lunch menu for $4.99. Just a great deal. Say what? <laughs> right? <laughs> plus, plus they have three for one cocktail specials for $10. All day, every day. <laughs> so now let's head to New York, New York for lucky number seven, Shake Shack. Yes, now Shake Shack, let me tell you, is a fantastic spot. Now, it is not super cheap, but it is definitely cheaper than a lot of places on the Las Vegas Strip and definitely not cheaper than In-N-Out Burger. Now, I will say they have some fantastic burgers. One in particular, if you're a vegetarian, there's the Shroom Burger. Now, it is a big mushroom with great cheese on there for sure, but their milkshakes are just as amazing. No, where are we moseying? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where's next? Where's Where next? Going? Oh, we'll find where out. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're gonna find out. <laughs> okay, let me tell you, I'm still hungry after Shake Shack. You are? I am. And I have the perfect spot we're gonna head to next. Oh yeah, where's that? It's still here at New York, New York, but it's a little bit more downtown. At a place called number six, Greenberg's Deli. That's right, Greenberg's Deli at New York, New York is an amazing spot to get sandwiches, New York style deli sandwiches for all around 12 bucks. Amazing, we love that pastrami sandwich. Just we really good. do, it is like, it's a humongous sandwich. They do not chintz on the pastrami, they don't chintz on the red onion, they don't chintz on the mustard, and they do not chintz on that delicious pickle. Certainly a fantastic spot, really quaint, sitting around the scenes of downtown New York, all for that, I mean, that's amazing. Definitely a spot you need to check out when you're visiting, Las Vegas on the Las Vegas Strip. <laughs> Where are we heading to next? <laughs> now we hope you're hungry for this next one. We're heading to the link for number five, Hash House A Go Go. Now Hash House A Go Go is no joke. The portion sizes that you get for one person could probably feed a small army. It's really, really incredible. They're known for their fried chicken. We actually really enjoy brunch there. I ended up getting the fried chicken eggs Benedict. Yeah, let me tell you, it was Huge! I could have probably shared that with Dave for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for three days, but it was absolutely delicious. Oh, so good. And their hashes are amazing, too. I had the chorizo hash with pickled jalapenos. Mmm, so good. So, I can still taste the cheese mm. right now. Mm -mm -mm, so good. The service was fantastic. I would definitely recommend getting there on the earlier side. Definitely, um, because it can fill up pretty quickly. Now, they have cut back the hours. They used to be 24 hours, but now I believe they kind of break it up. I believe it's from a, a brunch side, and then on the weekends they may close for a couple hours and reopen for dinner. So definitely contact them for sure, because things are changing on a regular basis there due to the current situation and that they're running about 50% capacity. But the food is absolutely delicious and definitely worth visiting when you come to Las Vegas. This next spot, okay, the, shh, shh, okay. This next spot here is an absolute secret at the Cosmopolitan. Number four, Secret Pizza. That's right, Secret Pizza at the Cosmo. <laughs> Don't expect any signs when you head into the Cosmo. Just go up to the third floor and look for the hallway lined with records. And once you get through that hallway, you're gonna be smacked with the rich aromas of that New York style pizza that they provide. Now they are known for their white slices and their pepperoni slices. Slices do range about $5.50, so definitely, definitely get yourself a couple slices. Enjoy the ambiance there, but you know what? Enjoy it if you can find it. Number three, a spot that we really love and always gives us a smile, Nacho Daddy. We love Nacho Daddy. Now, it's a great spot for late night, even a late night takeout spot. We enjoy the nachos, which are just absolutely delicious. You have a choice between chicken and beef. I think they range about a little under $20 for that dish, but definitely delicious. Oh, they're great, and they're definitely a meal. Don't think appetizer, these are a meal. And you can share them for sure. And that's exactly what we do. Now, if you're going in to have them in-house, definitely try the signature Daddy Margarita. They are definitely famous out there in Las Vegas. But you definitely, 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 one more time, definitely should stop at Nacho Daddy on your visit to Las Vegas. Now, if you want a delicious sandwich for under 10 bucks, check out Earl of Sandwich, found at either the Miracle Mile Shops or Caesars Palace. That's right, Earl's Sandwich is definitely one of the best cheap eats on the Las Vegas Strip, and their sandwiches are amazing, both hot and cold, and also their salads. Yes, we are a big fan of their salads. If you don't want the sandwich, the salads are absolutely phenomenal. One of my favorites is the Thai chicken salad with extra dressing, and every time we go there, I feel like the salad, the ingredients are spot on fresh. And finally, if you're craving tacos, nice. head down just past the Encore for number one, 
Tacos El Gordo. Oh my goodness. Okay, we absolutely love Tacos El Gordo. I could probably eat Tacos El Gordo for breakfast, lunch, and yeah, dinner absolutely. if they would let me. But there are a couple of choice tacos in there, roughly about that 285 mark for taco. But some of our favorites are the Taco Adobada, the Suarero Taco, the Vampiro, and I know you love. Sure, carne asada, chorizo taco. Mm, I'm getting mm. hungry. And I think this to wash it all down, I love to have myself a little bit one of those tasty horchatas for sure. But you need to check out Tacos El Gordo for sure when you're visiting. You will be in nice. Taco Taco Seven. That's right, and it's definitely, definitely one of the best cheap eats on the Las Vegas Strip. So that about does it for us. We just want to mention really quick that we do have an awesome Facebook group called For the Love of Las Vegas. It's a great community of folks that love Las Vegas. Great place to share photos, videos, a great story. I mean, who doesn't love a great story? And if you'd be interested in joining that group, there's information to that group in the description box below. But also, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you get out every time we post something new and exciting. Thanks for joining us, world travelers, and we look forward to seeing you in Las Vegas! Vegas!